Hey guys, it's Phoenix. Today I'm back on Minecraft 1.12 and I want to share with you a concept that I just made. I sort of made the basic concept of it during a live stream today, but I've done that in the last couple of hours and I want to share with you what I did. So this is of course for the upcoming Pokemon in vanilla Minecraft map, Pokemon Kill and Amethyst number two. And the idea of doing this is to make a more immersive experience and to fix some of the issues in the first map. Now, I'm going to talk to Absol here and that's a horse. Let's just pretend he's Absol, and to do so, I need to walk up to this pressure plate. Now, there won't be pressure plates in the map, that's not how we're going to trigger it, but this is just the demo concept to show you guys what I've done. So here we go, let's talk to Absol, and we have this communication going, and it's a dialogue board, uh, very similar to the Pokemon games, uh, how they present it, but this is my own spin on it. And you can see we've got the two people speaking, we have the dialogue, we have the two name tags, and you'll note that I've made a mistake, I've switched the names, that's fine, this is just a demo, just demonstrating the concept. So Trainer Bob is meant to be uh, Trainer Bob and Absol is meant to be Absol, but Trainer Bob is... Let's ignore that, let's look past that. Here it says, Trainer Bob, hi Absol, would you like to try some of my steak? So he's asking the question to Trainer Bob, and the whole idea is the player can press a button on their keyboard, or right-click, left-click their mouse to progress with the dialogue. Obviously dissimilar to the very first map where you had to press T to continue the dialogue, which is both annoying, and there was a problem with logging out, logging back in, the chat disappearing. So this fixes both issues and creates a more immersive experience. Absol replies, or Trainer Bob, I'm a vegan, but I guess it's worth the risk. We'll click again. You can see the double arrows on the bottom right-hand corner. Trainer Bob says, oh, make no mistake, it's quite great. And Absol replies, absolutely. And the final thing is Trainer Bob saying, oh. Or any very popular response to a punny comment. Um, and you can see the arrows on the bottom right hand corner, they've disappeared, which means there's no more dialogue left. Now I can, uh, I haven't actually completed the dialogue. What happens now is the player has their effects cleared and they continue. I didn't do that because I wanted to show you guys how this works. So let me clear my effects. It's not just the player getting slowness and the dialogue appearing. This is actually a neat board, a model. And if I look behind it, you can see the elements showing through. It is mirrored, of course. He's looking, it's like he's looking at his own high end area, right? I drew this with MS Paint, so it looks okay. I don't know how well I actually did, but objectively it looks okay. And these are all overlays. You can see the trainer is in front of the background, which reflects the background here. And Absol is also doing the same thing. And you can see the dialogue is in itself its own model. All right, so let me push this out a little bit. Okay, so this is its own model, and this is its own model. So how we are going to create NPC dialogues is we have the background uh, rendered on GIMP or Photoshop, uh, and it's placed behind two different textures, which we have to draw, which won't take too long. It's cool to have an artist on uh, me, not me. I'm not the artist, guys. This is horrible. Uh, on the team, they can represent the players and draw them out in such a way. Uh, and it looks like you're actually talking to them in the background. And then we can create the texts uh, and the dialogues. We can write them out and we just copy them into uh, a resource pack. So these are just armor stands. So fairly straightforward, it's just diamond hose, and uh, by the way, textures cannot have capital letters in them anymore. Just to point that out, okay, that took me an hour to figure out. Thanks to the live stream for helping me out with that. Otherwise, hopefully you guys got something out of this. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content, and horrible drawings, like this guy, and uh, thank you all for watching, take care. <laughs>